You've seen this on custom gaming PC rigs. Pipes containing fluid snake their way around the internals of these gaming monsters to keep things cool. And as a result, these machines run at peak performance longer. What if I told you you could one day get this cooling tech inside your smartphone? This is the OnePlus 11 concept phone, and it hopes to revolutionize smartphone cooling forever. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker. And over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the exciting people I get to meet along the way. So if that's the kind of content you want to see, send me your likes and subscribes, and I'll help you find the right gadget to match your needs. Here are six things to know about the OnePlus 11 concept phone. A week ago, OnePlus released this teaser image and it sent the internet a buzz. The Verge even suggested maybe OnePlus was taking inspiration from former OnePlus co-founder Carl Pei's new venture, Nothing, potentially teasing a phone with similar rear light strips. But nope, rear light strips these are not. They're actually not just an aesthetic design element, but are something more functional. And OnePlus hopes that this quote, forward-thinking technology will disrupt the future. More on that later. This phone is called the OnePlus 11 concept for a reason. It's based on the just launched OnePlus 11 that I reviewed recently. They have a lot in common. Same internals, same camera, same size and shape. But there are a few unique differences. The back glass, while still curved, has a deeper bend at its edges, making it comfortable to hold even if it has a little more heft to it. OnePlus says it's supposed to resemble a glacial lake in keeping with its cooling theme. The camera module too is different, similar to what we've seen from the likes of Oppo's Find X5 Pro and the OnePlus 10 Pro, it gently rises from the back glass, making it less imposing. Notice too that the etching on the module itself has that guiloche style that is reminiscent of a designer watch. I can't quite tell what color the phone is actually, sometimes it's black, sometimes like mercury. Of course, the biggest difference can be found on the phone's backside. So what we have here are not just some fancy lights, they have a purpose. They are actually part of the phone's cooling system called Active Cryoflux. Like I described at the start of this video, cooling liquid flows through the entire backside, providing cooling to parts that tend to heat up. The liquid that flows through these pipes is a combination of water, oil, and mica powder to give the phone an icy cold blue glow. And if you look closely, you can see the liquid as it flows through the pipes. At its core, there's an industrial grade piezo electric ceramic micro pump. These are connected to the pipelines, sandwiched between an upper and lower diaphragm. The pump and these pipelines are so small, they do not significantly increase the phone's weight and thickness. So what is cooling for? Cooling, when it comes to computing, is all about efficiency. When it comes to charging, heat can affect charging speeds. When it comes to pushing your computer's processor to its limits, when things get too hot, your CPU and GPU will also slow down to cool down. A process more commonly referred to as throttling. Theoretically, this kind of cooling on a smartphone could help improve charging speeds, and it can definitely help deliver sustained top performance for longer, especially on phones with an overclocked processor like Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. This phone ain't going to be sold. In fact, there are only about five to maybe 10 of them created solely for the purpose of showcasing it at MWC. It's a bit of a flex from OnePlus to show that while they have gotten back to offering flagship phones for less, they also want to be seen as innovators. Reps from OnePlus tell me this tech may or may not come to a future phone, but like their fast charging tech, they hope to keep redefining what smartphones can do. Here at MWC, OnePlus is also expected to tease a foldable phone. 
This isn't the first OnePlus concept phone. The first one we actually checked out at CES 2020. That phone had color shifting glass technology, which is a special kind of glass that when given an electric current, changes its properties and translucency. It's the same tech used to dim windows on Boeing 787 Dreamliners and the sky roof of the Mercedes S-Class Coupe and these Dusk smart glasses I featured recently. While cool and all, we have yet to see that technology come to a smartphone, which also tells us that Cryoflux may or may not happen. That said, it's cool to know that it's possible. And those were six things that you need to know about the OnePlus 11 concept phone. I realized I'm really lucky to be one of the few uh, reviewers who actually had the device and I don't have to give it back for a while. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. We still have more videos coming from MWC 2023 here in Barcelona. So if you'd like to see them, make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by. Oh,